Today, WFMY News 2 digs into a rare occurrence. That's right, a total solar eclipse is just a little more than a month away. And we're taking a deeper look into the event that is sure to wow people, not just here in Greensboro, but for many parts in the country. Those cities in the totality line like Austin, Texas, are getting ready for an influx of tourists and scientists as well. And just this week, Arkansas's governor said the eclipse could be one of the state's largest pulls for tourism ever. The Department of Parks, Heritage and Tourism is working to make this event as enjoyable as possible for visitors and Arkansans alike. Many people will be coming to our state for the first time and we want to make sure they keep coming back time and time again. There are events happening all across our state. The April 8th event is a total solar eclipse. It can only be seen though from a small area on our very big Earth. For it to happen, the sun, the moon, the earth must get together all in a direct line. The moon will, of course, be blocking out the sun's light. Several states will see a total eclipse. Those places will be completely covered by the moon's shadow. But you may not have thought about this part. A solar eclipse happens during a new moon when the sun and the moon are traveling the same path. So you will not be able to actually see the moon approaching, but it is there. The eclipse path travels through Mexico, across the U.S., and then, of course, on into Canada. Let's take a look at this. It's an animated map from NASA. We've sped it up so that you can see um, how the path is going to go across the United States. The eclipse will start over Texas around 120, cutting across the U.S. through Kentucky and Ohio. At around 430, the total eclipse leaves the country passing over Maine. Here in Greensboro, the eclipse will pass around 315. From our vantage point, the moon will cover up about 82% of the sun at the eclipse's peak. Well, it's been about seven years since this has happened. Another total solar eclipse won't hit the U.S. for another 20 years. That one happens on August the 23rd, moving north toward the south. Well, the last total eclipse soared over the U.S. in August of 2017. It had not happened for nearly 100 years. The max view here in Greensboro was about 40% or so. WFMY News 2 covered the celestial event then, and was, it was really enough to bring everyone out. Scientists have been waiting 99 years for today's spectacle in the sky. The first one that goes coast to coast since 1919. We'll have a chance to view history in the making together. People are just sitting there. Like you don't even have to say anything, right? Because it's just one of the coolest things. You took off work. Yeah. What did your boss say? I am the boss. <laughs> in about 60 seconds, it went from being a little hazy to almost nighttime. I mean, literally like 8.30 at night is what it looked like. This is totality. The moon is completely covering the sun. Oh my God. This is what the word unbelievable was made for. It's probably hard to see because, well, we're practically in night right now. The stars are starting to come out just a little bit and people are just amazed. I didn't want to miss it for anything. It was like this whole area stopped breathing. It was just everybody inhaled. It's very weird yeah. once the sun actually vanished. I'm watching everybody scream and have a great time. Wonderful. I just, it was amazing. I'm glad I got to see it. It didn't just go dim, it went night for two minutes at 2.40, 2.42 in the afternoon, and then the sun came back. It was crazy, it didn't feel real. We watched the street lights come on, the mosquitoes started coming out. <laughs> it feels like someone kicked up the air condition out here. Honestly, the single greatest scientific thing I've ever seen in my life. An experience that all these people out here have now that they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives. An experience that a lot of us won't get the chance to see again for a very long time. What a perfect way to remember what we were all doing August 21st of 2017.
right, that was super fun and cool, and you really got the best the best look of it. Right, yeah, the bosses sent us to uh, Murphy, mm -hmm. uh, about as far west as you can go in this state, and it was in the path of totality, and I'm just still getting chills just watching some of that video. It was just such a cool experience. I almost got emotional on TV, like I almost started tearing up because it was so out of this world. Like it, it was something that I just wasn't anticipating to feel uh, so much emotion. I did. Well, you've never seen it before, never experienced right. it before. And it was like, and you're experiencing it with all these other people too. And I'm sure you could hear like the oohs and the ahs and the, you know, the gasping in. You're just like, all of us are like looking at this together. And one, the great part about where we were, we were at a, a public park and they had a band there. And just before the moment that everything went dark, they started playing There Goes the Sun. And then once the sun started mm -hmm. to come back out, they came they came back with Here Comes the Sun. And it was just a really cool experience. I love it, I love it. All right, our team uh, verified how to protect your eyes so that you can enjoy the next solar eclipse. On April 8th, parts of the U.S. will go dark for a few minutes in the middle of the day during a solar eclipse. It's an out of this world experience, but you can hurt your eyes if you look directly at it without special glasses or a filter. But the American Astronomical Society warns scammers are selling fake gear that could damage your eyes. To keep you from getting blindsided, we went to these sources to explain how you can stay safe. First, make sure your Eclipse glasses or viewers include the manufacturer's name and address and that they're ISO certified. This means that the glasses meet international safety standards. Of course, it's easy for a scammer to just print that on. So next, inspect your glasses. Look for any punctures, tears, or other damage. Then, try on your glasses. You should only be able to see the outline of a bare light bulb. The American Astronomical Society recommends purchasing equipment from its list of reputable retailers and avoiding third-party sites like eBay or Amazon Marketplace. If you want to skip buying glasses but still want to see the eclipse, you can make a pinhole projector using items around your home. You can find instructions to make a projector using the links at verifythis.com. Whether you're Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And of course, WFMY News 2 will be there with you throughout the entire thing for the great American Eclipse coming up in just about a month.